welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Wednesday here at Norman's. Woo! Yes, we have a really cool guitar, but first, we're always buying guitars. Uh, so either email us at normansrareguitars at gmail.com, or you can fill out the form below. Um, and a lot of people always call and they say, hey, I just sent in the form. Um, are you really going to look at it? We always look at it. So uh, make sure you do it, and uh, we'll get right back to you. If sometimes... We're only Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, but we check the email every day, so sometimes it might take a day um, to get back to you, but usually we get back to you the same day. So, um, yeah, but we got a really cool guitar. Um, I haven't played one of these in a while, but always one of my favorites, either in white and black. This one's black. It's a 1973 Gibson Les Paul Custom in black, and it's a factory second, which is Ooh. really, really cool. Beautiful guitar, um, and some of these early... Um, Les Paul Customs can be really hard to get the exact date, but um, this one we're, we're thinking is definitely around a 73. Um, really cool guitar. Some some marks up top, as you can see. Uh, somebody definitely, it's not a crack, but they just kind of made a mark on there. Bridge has got a little bit of uh, wear as well. Um, I believe all the uh, electronics are original. Um, you have your witch hat knobs, which is really cool. Of course, two tones and two volumes. I believe this guitar is a refret. Um, what that's, I always say there's nothing wrong with that, especially if it's done right, because a lot of these guitars over time, um, those frets wear and just becomes harder and harder to bend. Ebony board, classic with the custom with the block inlays, the custom insignia up top. And the binding all around the body and the headstock and uh, the neck. Um, you got a tiny volute here. And here up top is where you see the two. That means it's a factory second. Which just means it was just nothing wrong with the guitar. Just maybe not their favorite piece of wood or, or something. But nothing to do with the sound. I mean it's really a lot of it's more cosmetic. A um, couple belt buckle scratches in the back as well. Um, Non-original case. We had to put it with an aftermarket case. But protects it. Um, so no problem there. Um, tuners are original, Grover tuners, and uh, yeah, I love these guitars. Always great rockers and a great clean sound too. Um, but today we're going to mostly rock it because it's a Les Paul and I love doing that. Woo! <laughs> so we're going to take it out front and see what we can do. Let's go rock. Let's do it. Rock. <laughs> Alright, we're out front with the 1973 Gibson Les Paul Custom. This is a factory second in black. Really cool guitar. Haven't played one of these in a bit. We're also going through a Fender Super Reverb starting off in the neck pickup. Let's see what we get.
73 Gibson Les Paul Custom in black. It's a factory second, really cool guitar. A lot of tone and a lot of crunch. Uh, you can check them all out at normanturkguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemon. See you soon.